Waltraud, we are here at GCAR2, a major conference taking place in Uruguay these days and focusing on agricultural research. From all the sessions here in Punta del Este, which topic attracted your interest most? And concerning this particular topic, what kind of future action is needed? Um, when I first looked at the program, I said, okay, uh, that's a lot of different and very much interesting topics. Uh, but from my side, I'm uh, especially interested in capacity development. Um, for our organization, we have been in this process of developing a handbook on capacity development uh, uh, two years ago. And it was a, a longer process to establish it. So I was particularly interested uh, how to do uh, capacity development in agricultural research. What the kind of approaches, methodologies uh, they are following. Because when you look at the CGR projects or programs, what they're doing, uh, the primary instrument which is mentioned is trainings. But training is only one instrument. And you need to be more flexible to think about uh, technical systems, to think about methodologies like uh, learning by doing, training of trainers, uh, field studies, uh, uh, challenges, um, yeah, uh, knowledge management in, in general. So what I have listening uh, this morning, it was apparently they are following a more systematic approach now. But uh, from my side, uh, still a little bit too much on the technical aspects. So what is the, the content of the trainings? What is the content of the curricula? Um, but when you talk, for example, for about organizational development, uh, you also have to think about um, uh, the commitment of the management. Uh, do you have an uh, incentive in place or sanctions? Are the staff really motivated to, uh, to learn? And this aspect I'm uh, missing a little bit uh, so far in, uh, in uh, agricultural research. And I think it's also uh, um, an aspect we have to follow up in uh, probably within the Global Donor Platform because it's not only related to agricultural research but uh, rural development or development cooperation in general. So really to have a discussion, a more uh, common discussion, how we can uh, together work together to improve these uh, processes so that we really see a change after the time and then also how to measure it. You are Senior Advisor for Poverty Reduction and Rural Development at the Austrian Development Agency. What do you take from a conference like GCARD for your everyday work? Why is it so important to meet regularly for people working in develop developing circles? Um, I can't tell you now what exactly is the lesson learned from this conference I will take home. But what uh, I find important is um, not to be occupied in your day-to-day -day work. So you're getting a little bit uh, one-sided, only thinking one direction. So you need the, the, the meeting with uh, other colleagues working in a similar fight or also in a other discipline to see uh, how other people are thinking, what kind of approaches they are taking, what lessons, le lessons learned they have uh, had. So, so that uh, you are developing your own uh, approaches and open up your mind all the time a little bit and also be uh, critical about uh, issues, not just say, okay, we are doing well, well, we have a lot of achievements, but also say, okay, uh, we have some achievements, but we also have some, quite some challenges and new challenges which are coming up. The conference is also attended by quite a few representatives of the private sector. How do you see their role in agricultural development and research? Is the private sector a complement to effort of traditional actors in the field of development or is it a competitor? I would like to put a, a question back. What kind of private sector are we talking? Is it the private sector in uh, our partner countries? It's the, the, the bigger farmers, the, the processors, the, the private service providers, the trader units. It is the uh, well, private sector on a more international level. Or is uh, multinational entrepreneurs uh, which are investing nowadays uh, highly in uh, partner countries with this uh, large scale land acquisition or land grabbing? So we have to differentiate uh, what kind of private sector we are talking. And of course, we have to involve them. But uh, 
the issue is also from the government side we have to put uh, regulations in place private sector is interested in making profit and it's right so but if you want to really reduce poverty if you want to improve uh, food security you have to think about the uh, regulations that you really also force the private sector to uh, accomplish to certain uh, regulation for example when we talk about uh, land grabbing um, on the most basis, uh, yeah, there's the argument uh, there will be huge investments, uh, we will have great new, new jobs, um, we, ha we have uh, higher yields, higher productivity and so forth. Uh, but when you see at the different uh, assessments already made by ID, uh, FAO, uh, ILC and so on, you see also there's uh, quite a lot of uh, negative impacts. So my advice is um, not only just to have regulation but also to have somehow enforce that uh, you have a kind of impact assessment beforehand uh, looking at the environmental impact but also the social economic impact so what is really a uh, contribution towards um, the livelihoods of the uh, rural population you are ada's focal point within the global donor platform for rural development why do you think agricultural research is an important issue to follow up on for donor agencies and what can the platform do in this regard? Um, we definitely need um, a lot more investment on agricultural research because of challenges like uh, climate change. So uh, the farmers they need uh, new crops, better crops, which are uh, more adapted to or more resistant to different uh, diseases, best, uh, which are more tolerant to, to drought. But we also need uh, this kind of, not really agricultural research, but more uh, social economic research. So also to see how, for example, smallholder farmers can really um, take up these uh, new innovations, how they can adapt it to their circumstances and they, how they can they increase their productivity. Uh, so my advice, uh, what I would like to continue on the Global Donor Platform is not to think poorly about agricultural research, but to think also more broadly about this uh, continuum from uh, education, uh, research, extension services uh, to the producer. You're welcome.